We owe what's for your night for Lennox. Holla, man. Oh, man. Shit. Yeah. You heard? Real shit, real shit. A lot of niggas can't come over here, man. A lot of niggas never been in this block. Can't even come see in this block, you heard? Nah, that's real shit. That's real shit. Yeah, let everybody know, man. You um you work uh for the Dawn Diva magazine and shit. Yeah. Legendary shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what it is is Kev passed me the torch, so I'm kind of running things and he's signing off, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I put in that work, you know what I'm saying, a long time to the point where, you know what I'm saying, he trusts me to, you know, make the moves and shit like that. So that's what I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your role, you know what I'm saying, in the in the company and shit like that? Um, I just had a conversation to, with Kev about this the other day because um, and he was like, basically like I'm the second coming, you know what I'm saying? Like he's stepping back and, you know, <coughs> he passing the torch to me a certain type of way. Right. And um, how I got a part of it was, like I said, when I was doing the documentary about the lynch mob, about the lynch mob for my pops and shit, he introduced me to Kev and, you know, we started chopping it up. And we was just, you know, we were just building like regular conversation shit, mm -hmm. like business, life, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. We developed a relationship through then. So I used to keep him abreast of things mm -hmm. and, um, you know, in him wanting to transition from print to media, I was helping him do so and, you know, getting the Instagram pop in a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Help him build. I got my pops on the cover after that. Um, I was telling him about Max B and uh, Pooh Sim situation. I got Max B and Pooh Sim. Yo. I got I got Max B and um, Pooh Sims on the cover. And then... Um, Pooh Sims? Pooh Sims. Who's yeah, that? He, I don't know. I don't think I heard of. Oh, uh, that's Max B. Code Defendant. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Pooh Sims. Pre okay. Pooh Sims. And then um, most recently, I got ASAP Rocky on the cover. So, you know, it's just like content development. You know what I'm saying? Content development, social media shit. You know what I'm saying? Brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I do everything, man. I do mm -hmm. a little bit of the music. Uh, you know, I'm modeling, I got the, you know what I'm saying? You see, I'm branding right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's I'm, your I'm, brand? Um, nah, this is a collaboration we did with a company called Murder. You know what I'm saying? The Stop Glorifying Rat, stay in line, what we trying to do. But we, you know, we got these on our site and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know, so that's, you know, that's in line with what we be doing. Mm -hmm. A lot, it's not limited to anything. Street team, you see I'm out here right now right. with my shit on. So right now I'm, I'm marketing, I'm promoting, I'm networking. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm carrying, I'm, I'm waving a flag in the streets. Mm -hmm. I'm connecting with Abe, anybody doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping the shit relevant. I just right. did a little. I just put out a, a, a like a little vlog, for some Don Diva. You know what I'm saying? What we doing? We in the streets. Right. What's good, to you, my guy? Hey, how are you. Nah, yeah. That's... So I do. It's my job is not limited to anything. Right. I'm doing right. everything. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You know, you um, you told me like your pops was um down with some shit called the um lynch mob back in the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late late eighties, early nineties er era. Know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, Harlem lynch mob. You know, um, one forty second Atlantic and shit. They was running around here, hitting shit, tearing shit up and all that. Right, right, around right. that era, you know what I'm saying? My right. pops took. 30 years when he was 23, stand up nigga, know what I'm saying? Wow. wow. You know, that's all them shit. That's crazy, but you know, we see the hoodie and all that, you know what I'm saying? Stop glorifying rats, man, you know uh -huh. that. Uh huh. But you know, a lot of people may not know that, you know, you came out on stage during that battle against Clips and you you basically said like his pops told on your pops and you had to, you threw paperwork in the crowd, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Oh. That's a fact. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Um, at that time, I was doing around that time. I was doing a, um, promoting my documentary and shit. Mm -hmm. So Lux was aware of what was going on and shit. Right. So he hollered at me and we chopped it up. I gave him some info. Mm -hmm. Gave him the actual paperwork for anybody who want to know. That paperwork was definitely official. That shit came from the courts. You know what I'm saying? So. Everybody who came to that battle, they got like some 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 memorabilia, you know what I'm saying? Because that was real paperwork, you dig? Right, right. Fact. No doubt, no doubt. That's, that's some shit. So like, you know, uh, you, you still be in tune with your pops and all that type of shit? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my pops was in jail the whole time, like, since I was five years old. So I grew up visiting him in jail, writing mm -hmm. letters and shit on the phone. So we maintain that relationship. That nigga, like... My manager, he helped me do everything I'm doing right now, and I'm saying a certain type of way. So right. that's my nigga. Like that's 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 my nigga. You feel me? Right. You um, 
so like you know uh did he did your pops he the one to like you know put you on to like you know a lot of stuff from back in the days and shit like yeah yeah he the one who introduced me to kev Childs. like know what i'm saying like oh that's oh shit yeah because i was doing a when i was doing a documentary he was linking me with certain niggas know what i'm saying so that's how you know i i developed these relationships you know what i'm saying with certain real niggas because he only fuck with real niggas so he introduced me to real niggas now that's my company you know what i'm saying that's that's my circle mm -hmm. a bunch of real niggas but he introduced me to kev um Cause like I said, when I was doing my documentary to get him on the cover to uh, to get my pops and Lou Sims on the cover of the magazine, mm -hmm. so um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, from there, me and Kev developed a relationship because I went down to the courts with him to get the paperwork from the case and all that to make the actual story. So right. we developed a relationship from there. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Speaking of um, Kev Charles, you know you was on. I think you was at the was it the Flex interview with him when he yeah, was speaking yeah, yeah. about. Um, I think it's uh. AZ yeah. from back in the days with um, pulling them uh, mm -hmm. paperwork and all that, saying mm -hmm. like he was on his paperwork or something like that. You can speak yeah. on that a little bit. Um, what is it? What is it to speak about? <laughs> what is it to speak about? No, that was a fact though. Um, I mean, niggas know Kev. Kev honor is intact, so okay. I wouldn't question anything he tell me. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. That's 110 percent. Real niggas know like. It's paperwork. We gave Flex the paperwork. He just chose not to put it out. Mm. If you go look at the interview, he said, yo, can I put the... Kev was like, hey, do what you want with it. Right. Nigga ain't no... Know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't faking over here, nigga. This shit real. Right. Stop glorifying rats. Niggas know he's... I mean, you know, that's before my era. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to mis misspeak a certain type of way, but we grow up. We grew up and paid in full. I was actually an extra... And paid in full. Oh, so I seen that you was mad young, right? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was a young nigga and paid in full. I was right. really outside. I was twelve years old when they was filming it. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I grew up following the story a certain type of way anyway. So I'ma just say niggas knew AZ was a rat because he told on the niggas who shot him who, who shot him and all that. So right. I mean right. but I mean, you know, Kev said his name in his paperwork, so his name in his paperwork, nigga. There ain't wow. nothing to question. That's crazy. Cause like a lot of people were saying like, you know, back in the days, like it was just like Cole was the one that told on people, but come to find out that, you know, um, I guess AZ was too. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I don't know, bro. I ain't, that ain't really my situation, so I can't really speak on it. Right. A nigga told, he told. It don't matter where you told, who you told on, or you cooperated, bro. Like, mm -hmm. and right. that's, you know, that's it. Right. So, you know. What, what you, um, it was something where I seen people um, posted, I think it was maybe, um, uh, what's bro, uh, Rich Porter, daughter or something, post something about, uh, Alpo and the Apollo maybe or some shit like that? Nah, his, his daughter ain't post that, um, uh, Rich uh, sister Porter's maybe? sister okay, yeah, posted my fault. something about him being yeah. out and about at the Apollo, uh, you know. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. So how Harlem feel about shit like that? Like the older Harlem that you know. How, how Harlem feel? How real? I mean. How any right? <laughs> man, listen, boy. It's us and it's them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. It, like, uh, man, like I said, man. Um, I don't even want to speak to you know, but real niggas, niggas is not jacking that, bro. Niggas not real niggas everywhere. Niggas not respect. I don't even want to speak on that, bro. I don't right, even want right, to speak right. on that too much. Nah, real nigga shit. Real but nigga shit. Real niggas know, bro. Niggas ain't jacking that nigga. Right. Niggas ain't jacking that nigga, bro. And mm -hmm. he he know. It's certain real niggas. He like he knows something, man. Right. You um you also rap though. I seen you did a uh, a Charlie Clips diss and shit. That was 2014. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I if if yeah, I you know. Uh huh. I play with it, so you know. Yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I dibble and dabble in the music. That was 2014. Okay. I really ain't put the music to a forefront certain type of way, but I'm, I'm working my shit out. I'm working on more of the business side of everything before I, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm building a platform. I'm networking. I'm getting my bread up. You feel what I'm saying? Was my name getting out there. So it's going to be a certain point where I definitely release some music and we're going to talk about everything that's been going on. So right now I'm just moving around, you know what I'm saying, motivating the streets a certain type of way and you know, we we gonna do that. Right. Was there ever a response to that record? What what could he say? He ain't never respond. <laughs> okay. Wait, I th I did that after the T Rex battle. Right. Um yeah, he ain't never respond. Right, right. But then I came out with the paperwork, whatever, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Facts. <laughs> right.
Oh, right. You never got that bread? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you never stop got that playing, bread? man. You're going to make me feel some type of, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, right, right, you right. know, what it is, is it's like, rest the peace, Fat Matt, because he the one who, like, after that, you know, he knew my pops and knew Lou. He knew Clips pops. He knew my pops. So he like, yo, y'all the younger niggas. Y'all chill when we squashed it and all. But for half of him, I, you know, left the situation alone a certain type of way. So mm -hmm. he was talking that A-Rack shit. But, you know, niggas be faking. He tried to say he was freestyling and all that. But when we did the shit with Lux, you know, it, it was a big platform for me. So, you know, I was just happy to just get the traction and be able to, you know, use it for, for, for for uh, marketing purposes for the documentary and shit like that and everything else I was doing. It was a real good look for me because that battle got over 3 million views. You know, I know y'all seen Cavario interview and all that. I think it was <laughs> on um, Gully TV and shit, right? Is um is Cavario still affiliated with Don D. No. Okay. Nah. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Um, I don't think Cavario ain't worked for, for Don D. in about 10 years, so... Nah, he not. He what he doing is totally separate, separate from what we doing at the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So like he um he he basically using like you know still using the name and he shouldn't or whatever. <laughs> you you just said it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you just said it. Yeah, you just said it. I, I I knew him prior to the whole don like you know. I knew him through my pops or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. He, you know, uh, but whatever. Yeah, he not he not affiliated with us. I'm gonna just say that. Right. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, bro. Recently, um, it was something that was posted on uh, on some page, and you know, everybody was saying the thing with like Cardi B was um, I guess uh, what putting shit in niggas' drinks or some shit, whatever. <laughs> but somebody yeah. and like they put a clip, and like um. Saying some shit, you know about the the uh the spike in niggas shit. What you talk about the shit that's that that I posted on my page? Right, right. Nah, I mean. You know? Do you? Well, first of all, do you know Cardi? Um, I you could say that. Right, 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 right. She she spoke on my name. I don't know how much she know about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But she put my name out there a certain type of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how much she know about me personally. Do I? Did I know her? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, but she heard about you. Yeah, she said my name, so you know, mm. I don't know what she heard about me. You know what I'm saying? But is uh is that really Alpo's son? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. <laughs> what the fuck? No, that nigga ain't Alpo's son, man. Why would you even want? Why would you even call that one? Why would you even say that? Stop, stop glorifying rats, man. That's what niggas mean when niggas be selling their soul for some fame. You just gonna say some shit because mm -hmm. it's going like, no matter what it is, you mm -hmm. just going, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be real, bro. I'm gonna give you 100%. I'm gonna tell you everything 100. I ain't going, ain't no faking over here, nigga. Right, right. Most yeah. definitely. Most definitely. What's your relationship with, um, like, Dipset and people of that, like, from that era? I mean, that's Harlem. They legends. So I, I fuck with everybody. I try to, like, you know, fuck with everybody from Harlem. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we grew up under Dipset. I was, like, in junior high school. These niggas was representing Harlem a certain type of way, right. running around. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm always willing to fuck with. You know, niggas show love. I see niggas in the hood. Niggas show love. But, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. You um, you speak, you spoke to Max B? I fuck with, yeah, I fuck with Max hard. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Max. You know what I'm saying? Me and him uh, definitely been in contact and shit like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Working on some shit. He be home soon. I what? heard his album crazy. A word? Yeah, he working on some shit. You gonna Free Max V? What y'all y'all ever got him for an interview yet? Yeah, I put out some shit too. Like he where he was speaking about uh, you know lynch mob and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. Well, yeah. he from up them ways. I just I just put some shit out. You know what I'm saying? It's on Don Diva, Don Diva magazine, Instagram. Mm -hmm. We chopping it up just regular shit. Mm -hmm. We gonna put something together a little more solid, a little more. You know what I'm saying? But we was just fucking around. Chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what the fans think. Right, right. So they jacking it. Niggas love Max B, free Max B. Uh, you, you, you familiar with King Erna? <laughs> yeah, I fuck with King Erna. Okay. King Erna. I fuck with King Erna. Right, right. I like his message. He don't fuck with rats. Okay. That's his whole message. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he a character. I fuck with King Erna. <laughs> He's showing love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We got into it. Listen, like, how I met King Erna. 
I, I ain't gonna get into that. Yeah, <laughs> he was misspeaking. He was talking crazy on my Instagram. I'm like, look at the fuck is you to like going crazy, and you know. And we 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 spoke about it like we and you know. Okay. But That's yeah, he, we we kind of aligned a certain way because we kind of got the same message a certain type of way. Right. Stop glorifying rats. He, you know. Don Diva, niggas we don't fuck with, snip, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. the, you know what's going he, on, man. He had a video he did on Cavario too and shit. <laughs> oh, word? <laughs> yeah, I seen that shit the other day, that shit was wild. Did he? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wasn't you on the CC show the other night? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the CC show. Right, right. CC show got it lit. Hell yeah. He be having like thousands of people on that shit, bro. Huh? Thousands of people be on that shit watching Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. He got a big following. He mm -hmm. got a big following. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's what's up. That's dope. Right, right. I hope it I hope it amounts to something, you know, better than just an Instagram live. I would like to see him where DJ Academics is at, uh, you know what I'm saying? Of course. A, a situation like that. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. What what right now though, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all working on next with the Don Diva shit? We working on everything. We we trying to get we got like T V situations, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Podcasts, all types of shit. Like we trying to do this shit on a bigger level, like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? There's a lot of shit we could, you know, run around do YouTube shit, but Kev, he been in this shit this year, make 20 years, so we trying to we trying to do it big. Like, we ain't trying to just do some little regular shit. Mm -hmm. We trying to do this shit on a big platform and get this shit to you real. We got 20 years of content, mm -hmm. real niggas from all over, all around the world, all types of real niggas you could think of. So we just trying to, trying to build a platform for niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Build a platform for all the real niggas, for my niggas in the hood who doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who doing music. Mm -hmm. Um, clothing brands, like you said, Rich Porter daughter, she got some fire clothing, like, you know what I'm saying? T-shirts and all that shit, so we just trying to build a platform for, you know what I'm saying? For, uh, for all the real niggas, man, everybody who doing something, you dig? You know, um, you know his daughter, right? You grew up with her? Um, nah, we met, we met because, um, I, um, we, uh, we was working on, like, a TV show, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we came up with an idea for a TV show like with everything that I'm doing with the Dawn Diva and everything she doing with her clothing line to like kind of follow what we doing and you know talk about our pop situation and the effect that they had on our lives a certain type of way you know what I'm saying okay how like you know how does gentrification you think affect the um uh the area of Harlem right now you know is it still does it still have the same feel like Harlem used to have when you was younger or is that taken away from the feel of a little bit you think you, you, um it definitely, I mean, it, t it, take away, it took away from the field because if you look, it's like cameras on every building, mm -hmm. you feel me? So it's like, I, I mean, yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Right. It, it took away, it's, I mean, it's still Harlem, but it, it's definitely not the old field. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you said you work on a documentary or something? What you, what you say again? Um, nah. Not really, not a, nah, not a documentary. Like I said, we working on TV deals. We trying to put this shit like on a, on a, on a, on a real big platform for niggas. You know? mm -hmm. and we trying to do, you know, we want to do stars, HBO. We trying to do shit like that based upon these stories uh, of this content that we have that, you know, we've been putting out magazines with all these stories for years. So we trying to build that into some, you know, some type of media, some type of, you know, big production as far as like movies, TV series. Mm -hmm. You know, we want a, a, a podcast with everything that was going on. We could talk about all these subjects that you ask questions about the 6 9 everything that's going on right now. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. And, oh, of course, you know, of course. Our perspective of, of what's going on, because niggas look, look to us for that. They want to know how we feel about these situations. So right. that's you, what we're doing. It's, it's a, in Harlem, overall, it's a lot of it's a lot of upcoming like artists and shit. On my platform, I post a lot of a lot of upcoming artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right now, like I like the kid Neek Bucks. You know what I'm saying? He going crazy. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying he doing a lot of a lot of good things and shit for Harlem and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I see him working and shit like that. But it's a lot of upcoming rappers. My man Chase Money cracks right here. He from Harlem East Side. Uh, right. Chase Money is this. He doing his thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of it's a lot of upcoming Harlem artists. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? It's there's so many I can't even name them all. But like I said, we're trying to build this platform so we could. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. You think right now the state of hip hop, like you know what I'm saying, in New York is where it should be? Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. New York always. You know what I'm saying? We niggas, 
niggas jack our style. Like, you know what I'm saying? In New York, we always gonna set the precedent for what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether another area is hot at the time or not. Right. Niggas always gonna look here to see what's hot. You know what I'm saying? To see this. Harlem, like, we, come on, bro. Harlem, we the, we the flyest niggas in New York. And New York set the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's how that go. Right, right. I don't really listen to, like, a lot of, like, like new niggas and shit like that. Okay. I, don't, I ain't really into like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like I grew up, I listened, like my favorite rap, I like Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, like mm -hmm. those are my, like the locks. I grew up the on shit like that. Yeah, yeah so I, listen, I try to listen to niggas who got that same type of sound now. Right. Or niggas who preach, preaching a certain type of message that I fuck with, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like new nigga, I like Meek a lot, I like Yo Gotti. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Missy, Nipsey Hussle and his message, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was going. Right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You ever, you ever, um, checked out, like, like, you know, uh, putting y'all content digitally, or is it still in, like, magazine format? Nah, if you go to DonDivaMag.com, it's digital, it's digital magazines. Oh, yeah? We got our, pe yeah, like, that's what you could look at, you could read the magazine on your phone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got online content, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On Instagram, popping daily. You know what I'm saying you could go on the, on the website. You could get magazines shipped to the to the inmates and the loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Oh right. So they, oh people still shipping them out and all that. Like yeah, nah, definitely. We still very big in the jails. Like that's that's who we do it for at the end of the day. The magazine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we building this shit into a media company, but we still do the magazines for you know the niggas that's locked up and shit like that. You know what I mean? Right. So y'all get a lot of love on the ground. A lot of love. Mm -hmm. A lot of love. What's some um? What's some big artists that's following the page? Hey, Two Chains. Uh, shout out to Two Chains, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. Yo, I'm a. I'm gonna hit you back. I'm gonna hit you back. Um. Uh, Two Chains, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Fab, Dame Dash, Cam. Jim, Boosie, Pusha T, um, so many niggas I can't even think of right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, niggas, niggas show love. Niggas, niggas fuck with us, you heard? Yeah. You sp speaking of Dame, you ever met Dame personally? Yeah, I fuck with Dame. Dame, Dame like, that's one thing I can say about Dame since day one that nigga showed me love. I met him when I was doing the documentary. He actually said, Cam showed him the documentary. So we, Dame hit me on the gram and was like, yo, um, Cam showed me the documentary or whatever, like, I let me in. He told me to come down to his uh, studio and shit like that. Mm -hmm. When he had the, uh, when he had the, uh, the, the, uh, the shit in Soho, the, um, the shit where he had all his art and all that. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, he, I was down there with him, fuck with him, he showed wild love and shit like that. Then me and, and, uh, Kev Childs, we went to LA, fuck with him, chopping it up, working on some things and shit like that. Yeah, fuck with, I fuck with Damn Hard, Damn Hard nigga, B. Yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up. So you think like, you know what I mean, uh, rappers coming out of New York support New York enough or what? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really speak on that. Like, okay. I don't really, you know, uh, really tap into like the, the rap, like a certain type of way like that to where I'm, you know what I'm saying? Or what about how we were? You think they do enough for the community? You see how people are saying Nip do shit for the community. Do you think like... New York rappers need to do more of that, or what do you? How you feel? What's your opinion and how? You know what I'm saying? How y'all feel about that type of shit? Um, yeah, I think more definitely could be done. Okay. I think more could be done. I definitely think more could be done. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, man, Harlem. You know what I'm saying Harlem always had that feel. Like you know what I mean? A lot of people when they come to New York, like one of the places they want to go is Times Square in Harlem. Like you know what I'm saying? Why mm -hmm. you think? Why you think y'all got that type of shit where like the, the rest of the country. Want to tap in? Um, I don't, I mean, just Harlem history, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Since back in the days, like, Harlem always been historic. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot right. of, a lot of history here, especially for black people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we had millionaires since, like, the, the early, like, in a, in a numbers game. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Right. The Bumpy Johnson era and shit like that. Hell Queen yeah. and all that. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? James Lennox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? 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 It's some, it's some, it's some other stories that's out there, but like I said, stop going find rats. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm just hooking them. Yeah, like we saying, Harlem had a rich history and all that, and we said, you know, 
the neighborhoods is changing right now, especially like over here on the west side is getting real gentrified. Do you think that's gonna fuck with the future of the history? And how long do you think like it could be to where the shit gonna be like not even really black anymore? Um, I don't think that could never really happen. Okay, okay, okay. It's, 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 nigga, there's projects everywhere. You right, that's true. Everybody out the projects. That's true, that's true. Like, it's people who've been here, like, niggas who, who've lived here for years, so it's never really, even people who move away, Harlem got something about it that you always gonna come back. So we always gonna be here, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, niggas like Nipsey, you know, they was getting money and, you know, coming here and getting businesses and buying the community and giving back to the community. Mm. Right. So that's what it's about. What are some other, like, you know, some other old school names that people may not know about or whatever out here that don't get enough recognition, you think? What you mean? Like, oh, from the streets? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, people y'all may have did articles on and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, from, from like, Harlem? Yeah, from Harlem, specifically. I mean, you know, like, my pops, Farris, yeah, you that. know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, his coach. What they call him, pardon me, what they call him? Farris. Farris, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? His name was real big, you okay. know what I'm saying? Definitely in the, in the streets, in the jet, you know what I'm saying? But because he didn't have the movie, his story was never told on that platform, you don't hear about it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So just like, you know, uh, my pops, Farris, you know what I'm saying? You got Kev Chows, you know what I'm saying? You got like Guy Fisher. Guy Fisher was from the Bronx, but he was with a Harlem team and he bought the Apollo. So for a nigga say I misspoke, Guy Fisher was from the Bronx, but you know, he put on for Harlem as well as Kev Chows. Kev mm -hmm. Chows was from the Bronx, but he put on for Harlem, but you know, mm -hmm. we ain't gonna separate Harlem from the rest of uh, New York, you know what I'm saying? New York is New York at the end of the day, but mm -hmm. Harlem, you know. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You got like Fritz, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas like that. Right. Like real, you know what I'm saying? Right. Real niggas in the street a certain type of way. Nah, my man Ty Guns, free my guy Ty Guns, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Official niggas like that from Harlem, you know right. what I'm saying? Legends. Legends, right. real legends. Right. Everybody just named Legend. Mm -hmm. Facts. Is your um you see how like they be saying um Charlie Clips pop snitches is your pops coming home from that case? I'm sorry. I said um you said remember we said how Charlie um Clips pop snitch is your pops coming home from that case that his pop snitched on? You said is Charlie Clips pops coming home? No, it's your it's your pops coming yeah, home. Yeah, my pops be home real soon. Okay, that's a good look, man. That's a good look, man. Yeah, let me clarify. God. I'm from Malcolm X Boulevard, nigga. You on Lennox Ave, one twenty nine. You on Malcolm X Boulevard. Uh, How legendary is that? Where else would you want to be from? Nah, real shit, real shit. You hear the name itself, man. You know what I'm saying. Good, good. Yeah, so like, you know what I mean? Like, what's a regular day though out here, man? Is it still, you know what I'm saying? Is it still like a lot of a lot of females in the hood and shit like that? Nah, yeah, it's still lit. It's a regular day, like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just rose, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a Damn, regular day. That's how, it's that's a regular how you, day. That's you how you even act, You just act. Nah, that's not, this is, this is regular. That's, that's, my homie, my, my <laughs> he said young, this is regular. my yo, match. My young, my young boy, he, he pulled up with that. Like, this is like a regular, you ain't even act. Like, this is regular <laughs> shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Cute. Like, this is regular. Nah, he, he said, was this a regular day? I told him you just had this. So I said, yo, the nigga coming to do the interview, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my niggas get money. It's regular you know, shit, you know bro. Nigga said, it's regular. Man, outside for real, for Look, real. You know, we outside for real. Yeah. We outside for real. Yeah. Like, nah, that's real nigga on, shit. Man. That's Harlem shit. Like, come on, you know what we doing? Like, regular niggas pop shit. in. Niggas got fucking rolls. It ain't even really summertime yet. Nah, niggas it's early. Early. it's the first nice day, so you know. Word, it's that's like the fact. second, third bottle on the block. Niggas don't even know it's only one o'clock, like, type shit, right? You feel me? Like, one, two. This is regular. We just. You know, shrimp and grits and all that. Sylvia's. <laughs> I'm supporting black businesses. Oh, it's called for real. Pre-game, you heard? Uh, oh, that's regular. what they call it. Yo, you rap or anything, bro? Nah, nah you just nah. Oh, you just regular. You just you just, just you just booling. Nigga, you yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> regular nigga on a regular day. Nah, real nigga shit. It's a regular day. Yeah, I'm I'm glad to um link up with y'all because I ain't I only got like three Harlem interviews. You feel me? Oh, where who you else you get from Harlem? Um, Neek, Neek Bucks. That's gangster. I did. Um, what's the kid from the East Side? The um. TJ Porter. Oh, um, damn, I think that's it. Maybe probably some. Oh, um, Papa Roxy Poe, but I don't know if he's from Harlem or the Bronx. Who? Papa <laughs> Poe. Who? <laughs> I don't know if he's from Harlem or the Bronx. Yeah, Macho FC, man. Like, don't name no niggas on my block, man. Like, we ain't naming say nobody. Less, say less. Uh, no, nah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs>
I nah, don't edit that. Keep nigga, keep that. Keep you, it gangster. Nigga. You sure? Nigga, keep that. All right, say less. Sure. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> be outside. What you say? You said the bro do what? I said, I said, now nah, Fayback always been a solid nigga. Always trying to bring the hood together. Mm -hmm. Always trying to make everybody eat, profit off everything. You know what I'm saying? Right. So no, it's like niggas shit. can't even be mad. No, that's a fact. You know what I'm at the end of the day, you eat what you kill at the end of the day, too. Nigga, mm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can't really mm. force you to eat, nigga. Shit, nigga. That's what I live by.